Okay. The Night Before It was one night ago, just the night before, I heard someone outside knocking on my door. I looked through the window, and what did I see? A green, scaly dragon looking back at me. He found me again, but how I couldn't say. He always does, even though I run away. But I couldn't let him touch me, not one hair on my head. So like any boy would, I hid under my bed. Trembling, I crouched, resembling live bait, tortured with fear, regretting the weight. Suddenly I heard it, the sound rang true, of the door crashing down and the dragon coming through. He checked several rooms, he could have checked more, but instead he stopped outside my bedroom door. I could hear his scales rubbing as the dragon passed through and smelled his breath, stinking like a burnt rubber shoe. He was close and I knew it, but where could I go? With the bed up above and the floor down below, I kept really still and held my breath tight, wondering what horror my fate held that night. He knew that he had me. I just know that he did, as he checked all the places he thought I had hid. He checked in the closet, behind my old coats. He checked underneath all my shelves, underneath my toy boats. He couldn't stop looking, and I quivered with dread as the dragon came close and stopped at my bed. What could I do with a dragon so near, anticipating the moment his head would appear? Then something peeked under, but it was only his toe, and the dragon sat down, knowing I was below. It was quiet for a moment, but that didn't last. My bed started squeaking and shaking really fast. I wondered what was happening, so I stuck out my head and was surprised to see the dragon jumping on my bed. He jumped up and down till it started to break. Then sure enough, he jumped with one final hard take. The mattress snapped in half when he landed on my bed, and he giggled with delight as it landed on my head. I felt sure I was trapped when I first looked around, crushed, my, crushed beneath my mattress and dust bunnies on the ground. But no crying just yet, though I had no place to go. Inciting, instead of lying still, I wiggled to and fro. I was finding more room and soon able to crawl. The dragon never noticed till he felt the mattress fall. He was mad and I knew it as he saw me run away, breaking, breathing purple smoke puffs in a vicious sort of way. So I dashed through the kitchen heading out the door, the dragon's hot breath getting hard to ignore. Just then I made it, I opened the door wide, heading out the doors, leaving a dragon inside. But since I thought, since he thought he could make it, he let out a roar. Then he charged forward, crushing his nose in the door. I know I should have ran and found a new place to hide, though the dragon started wailing loudly as he cried. But how could I run while holding my ears or leave the poor dragon drowning in tears? That's why I stopped just to help the dragon out. I thought it'd be nice to wrap his wounded snout. but. Did I get a thank you? Or did he just say, how sweet? Or did he just stare at me like something good to eat? Oh, he smiled at me as best as he could. 
like no respectable dragon ever should. With one hand he reached out and touched me on my side. With the other he wiped the fake tears that he cried. The moment it happened, I threw the biggest fit. I screamed myself hoarse when the dragon yelled, Tag, you're 